Classic TV fans, Rick 9G here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about I Love Lucy. It's my favorite show of all time, favorite classic TV show of all time. And if you love classic TV shows and movies, 1,700 videos await you on my channel, ranging from different TV shows and movies. Check out the links in the description for different playlists and enjoy. But today we're going to be talking about I Love Lucy in an episode that I actually like it's from one of my favorite seasons of i love lucy season three the episode itself is called the french review now it's a pretty good one in my estimation i like the second half of it i like to divide the episode in two halves essentially the first half is lucy trying to learn french the second half is her trying to get into ricky's show and that's the part that i like the most i wish they could have made an episode just focused on that itself but they added the french part in the beginning which again wasn't really my favorite it was eh, okay in my estimation now this came out november 16th 1953 now this is because lucy is unable to read a french menu in a french restaurant so she hires a waiter there to give her and ethel french lessons she even suggests a french flavored type show at the club and Ricky actually likes the idea, except he doesn't want Lucy in the show. And now she's super determined, and they make a bet to see if she can get into the act or not. Now, can she get into the act? Does she finally get into the show? Of course, um, in the final Valentina scene, which I actually like. I love the numbers at the club. It takes everything a little bit away from the apartment and adds that added comedy of Lucy trying to get into the show and I love that theme that they used to go back into. And you see Lucy is trying to disguise herself many different ways to get into the show. At the end she disguises herself as an older woman, goes under a table and then comes out in that dancing dress. But then before that she even dresses up as a cello, like herself, literally a cello, and Ethel as one of the band members. I think that's funny. Even Ethel goes by Ricky and says, Como esta? Which basically says, how are you? But in a really thick American accent, basically a bad Cuban accent, which is really funny. I kind of like that. It's like an added funny touch, and Ricky would pick up on that right away. There's no way they're getting it, right? But there is also a scene where Lucy has that weird wig that goes all the way around, so you can't see her face at all. But before that, she puts her head under the shade of a lamp and walks in. Now, this is where we see the blooper that I'm talking about. This big mistake that wasn't supposed to show up on screen, but it does, and you can still see it in syndication or reruns today. That is, as Lucy walks into the club with the shade, basically being a lamp, like she's carrying a lamp, you can actually see she goes to the extreme left of the club and the extreme left of the scene in which they're filming it. And you see the curtains that are hanging in the background. And you see this woman behind the scenes who's just standing there and watching the action. I don't know, it's my guess. I think she's actually chewing gum because she's by herself. And I don't think it looks like she's talking. It's a repetitive up and down motion, just like you were chewing gum. It's my guess, but she's not supposed to appear in the shot. She's not an actress in this episode at all. She may have been a dancer later on, but I don't think so. Um, she's no one that I really know or that I really think I've seen before. If you know, let me know. But I think she is an unknown, just person behind the scenes working on the show. And she was caught in between the curtains, not thinking that the camera would catch her. But in fact, it did. And it made it through the final editing phase and the final airing, which continues on so many decades after. Now, did you see this quick blooper? Because if you have it, now you'll never unsee it. I think it's awesome to bring you stuff like this, behind the scenes, information, unique factoids, things that you never knew about your favorite TV shows and movies. I dive deep into a certain detail, into a certain topic on these classic TV shows and movies, and I hope that you like it. Don't forget to subscribe so that we can continue growing the channel and making more videos. We'll see you next time, and don't forget everyone, be hopeful. Thank you so much to my supporters, especially my Diamond Tier patrons, Terry Y, Jerry D, Citizen Kane, Jennifer P, David D, Kevin K, Sally N, and Vito L. If you want to be on this patron list, go check the links in the description for a wonderful way that you can support the channel. Thank you.